Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Bri again. I come with a quick little message. I come to talk to you guys about the characteristics of a Proverbs 31 woman, okay? Because a lot of y'all don't know the power y'all possess inside of y'all. A lot of y'all do not know that you are a Proverbs 31 woman. I need you guys to start walking, talking, and acting like that Proverbs 31 woman. First one, that Proverbs 30 woman is is her character as a wife. You understand me? As a wife. If you don't know the traits and the things that you're supposed to do as a wife, I suggest you go study on being a wife, okay? Because, baby, you're a Proverbs 31 woman. You are for your Ephesians 5 man, okay? Number two, her debt of, I mean, her debt of devotion and dedication as a homemaker, okay? A Proverbs 31 woman makes sure her home is secured. Everyone in her home feels and know that there is love there. There's nobody left out. Everyone knows the love. A Proverbs 31 woman handles her home with care. She speaks at her children. She speaks to her children and not at them, my man. That's what a Proverbs 31 woman does. Proverbs 31 woman also, she is generous to her neighbors and to others. You understand? A Proverbs 30, 31 woman will help others, those that are in need, help her neighbors, not to get justification from it, not to go and run and tell somebody that they did this and they had to do that for somebody, but they do it because that's within them and whatever in you will come out of you, Okay. Number four, her influencer as a teacher. You heard me? As a teacher, a Proverbs 31 woman will teach. She will share her knowledge with others who has been or going through similar situations that she has been through. She has the knowledge within her to teach. So that's what she does. She teaches. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Point number five is her effectivity as a mother. You hear that? She don't just mother her children. She mothers all the children that are around her, all the children that come in contact with her. Children flock to her. You heard me? She, she has that mothering spirit on you. You know, like when you go through something and she just, she doesn't say nothing, but just hold you and kiss your forehead. That's that Proverbs 31 woman where she holds you and she hum. She holds you and she prays over you. She hold when when her children is sleeping at night. She she paces the floor. She's calling out children' name for God to intercede on their behalf. That's that Proverbs thirty one woman. Okay, she is excellent as a woman. You understand? That's a Proverbs thirty one woman. She is excellent as a woman. When I say excellent as a woman, she will sleep alone before she will defile her bed and let any and every man come inside of her bed she will learn to be by herself she doesn't have to be in a relationship she doesn't have to be any of that she's content within herself she's pure within herself she knows her worth so she won't just lay down with anybody she will stay celibate until she finds her husband she know her work that's the qualities of a proverb 31 woman a lot of you guys have their proverbs 31 woman in you and a lot of y'all want to have that proverbs 31 in you see but such certain things got to be in you so that it can come out you and when it's in you it's in you when it ain't it ain't baby and that's just what it is take your stand as being a proverbs 31 woman there were many but women there are many women who may have qualities as a Proverbs 31 woman, but that are not a Proverbs 31 woman. It, it's just who you are. You have to know who you are. It's not my place to tell you who you aren't and who you are. It's, it's God's place to tell you. And when you study, when you study and you learn you and you get you isolate yourself from everybody and get in a quiet place, God will let you know that's you, that Proverbs 31 woman, that teacher, that healer, that nurturer, that influencer that speaker, you know, that provider. He will let you know who you are within yourself. But you have to be one with yourself. It's not one with other. See, a Proverbs 31 woman, she doesn't compete with anyone because she's know who she's are. She's sure of who she are, 
who she is. I'm sorry, y'all. She's sure of who she is. She doesn't have time to compete nor complain with anybody. She's going to compliment you. No matter how much you take a shot, no matter how what, she's still going to compliment you. She's going to let you know that who you are, you still are a princess in the making a king and a queen in the making, whoever it may be that she is influencing, that she is speaking to, she still will uplift them. A Proverbs 31 woman uplifts people. They don't try to tear them down, but they uplift them. They awaken them. They want them to know the strength. They want them to know that they are love. See, a Proverbs uh, 31 woman, she doesn't just, her cup runneth over with love. You understand? So the, the, the love that's running over she gives to everybody but that love that's in her cup she gives to herself she loves herself but she gives others love also she a cup runneth over tremendously with love and that's why she can love so many that's why she can give out love to the people she could that's why she can go up and minister to different streets because the love she operates by love are you walking in your proverbs 31 woman are you a Proverbs 31 woman? Do you even know if you're a Proverbs 31 woman? Study. I'm challenging you guys to study and see who you are. You're a Deborah. You're a Ruth. You're a Proverbs 31 woman. Who are you? You are who your Heavenly Father say you are. But until you reach, sit down, get still, and study and reach with Him, who are you? Don't be something that you're not. Be who you were called to be. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. Peace.